This video is going to show you how to put a sacrificial sail cover made out of some umbrella on your sail. First, get the luff measurement. Then get the uh, leech measurement and do not take into account the curve of the sail, just a straight line measurement. And then also get the foot measurement, write those measurements LP. down. We'll also need to measure for the We're LP. Going looking for the left perpendicular, you can eyeball it, but the perpendicular measurement from the clue to the left edge will be the shortest distance. Basically, we're at 13.9. You can do that this way. If you swing over here, I'm at 13.11, for example. I come back, come back, come back. 13, 9, 13, 9, 13, 9 and a half, 10, etc. It just goes up from there. Alright, once we have those four measurements, we'll go to our pad of paper and do some calculations. To determine the foot panel width, take those measurements you had and plug it into this formula. Take the LP and divide that by 6, and then take the luff length and divide that by that calculation. You may want to pause the video here to study this. Now that we have that, we'll concentrate on the leech panel width. We'll take the LP, divide it by 8, and then we'll divide the luff length by that uh, calculation. So you'll be cutting your umbrella panel widths to equal this for the leech and the foot. You will also need to determine the amount of panels needed for the leech and the foot. And to do that, you need to first determine the width of umbrella you're using, whether it be 46 or 60 inch, and then use this formula. Again, it's a good idea to pause the video and study this formula. We'll be transferring those width measurements over to the fabric. We need to add two inches for hems that will be placed on the leech and the foot of the sail. By cutting small sections that will be added to the leech and the foot, you'll be able to take on the shape of the sail. So this is how you'll cut it according to this illustration. And you need to remember, add two inches onto each one of those widths. To cut each one of these panels out, we use a hot knife. This helps seal the edge of the fabric. On the short edges, it's already factory sealed. By using a hot knife, we don't have to do a hem to the inner edge. Deb's now laying out the panels along the foot. And here she's going to talk about that hem. You allow yourself at least two inches so that when you come around and hem, you have enough to turn under and make your hem on the other side. You want to add that to the distance you have that you want it to cover your sail. As you can recall, we've already added that to each one of the widths. You can see this makeshift box to help prevent the 3M Super 77 spray adhesive from going all over the loft, but we just take that and spray the underside of this panel. This spray adhesive is highly recommended. This is the tack corner. We're also going to extend this panel a little bit over that edge by about 2 to 3 inches as well, so we can do a hem along the edge. If you don't have the 3M Super Spray Adhesive, you can also use basting tape, but it is more difficult. You'll see here in the video, the Super Spray Adhesive keeps the panels in place. You can see as well on the bottom edge, she's leaving at least two inches, and each one of these panels will vary a slight bit. This is because there's shape in the sail, and also a little bit more of a, a rounded effect to the bottom or the foot edge. The leech will have a hollow. Once Deb's assured that there's at least two inches along this foot edge and also two inches at the tack, we'll adhere this panel down to the sail, working out any bubbles or wrinkles that may be in the bottom of the sail. Once that panel is in place, we'll work with the second then panel. You spray your next piece the same and you want to get your edges here. You can also strike a line up here if you, if you prefer to do that and then line up your top edge with that and then let your piece hang over. In lieu of doing that, Deb has taken and put a line on the umbrella. You want to overlap so that you've got at least a half inch, and you want those to line up at that edge. Make sure that you also have your half inch down here. You may end up with more or less when you straighten your piece out to go on the edge here. As you can see, it's overlapping more at the top than the bottom, so you want to make sure that you bring the bottom over your half inch at least. If this is over a little more, there's no problem there. Deb now takes it over to that fabricated box to spray on the Super 77 spray adhesive. By folding the panel like this, it helps ease in uh, placing this panel exactly where you want it on the sail. And so now we're just adhering the second panel. Up this edge 
much here. Rub it back down toward the outside. This is the tack edge, and on this sail we have just a loop of webbing. So Deb is cutting out of a, a uh, notch in the umbrella fabric to allow that loop of webbing to be exposed here. So you may have something different there, but uh, uh, you just want to do the similar process here. You want to cut it out so that you can create a half-inch hem around whatever uh, you have. You may have a ring or a D-ring. As you can see here in the video, we're securing this foot uh, now that we have all the panels in place along the foot with the uh, first stitch going along the inner edge. The first stitch is along the inner edge and we're sewing a zigzag stitch right along this edge. And since we used a hot knife, there's no reason to put a hem there. We started sewing at the leech edge. Now this is the luff edge. And we're going to stop sewing here a little bit short of that luff edge right at where that tape begins. We usually don't sew all the way to the edge of the sail in case there is a leech line or a foot line in place. So even at the leech here, we'll stop short of the edge of the sail right at the tape to prevent any accidental sewing in of leech lines. Once that stitch is done, then we'll concentrate on these short edges of each one of these panels. And here Deb's going to explain why she stops short at each one of those tapes. On the leech, you don't want to back tack here past your tape edge. If you back tack into here, you're going to back tack through your leech line. So I try to just make sure that I always back tack on every one of these just to that certain point. Deb's in the practice of stopping short at uh, each one of these edges, even though this is the foot edge where it doesn't have a leech line or a foot line in it. But uh, this helps her to remember to always keep it that way. Because this will get sewn down when you hem this. On the back, you go to hem the back of it, it'll cut right across here and sew that in.